What's going on, boys and girls of all ages? Yours truly, Andy Cheesy, back on duty. So, um, apparently, I began to report that Andre Iguodala might be signing with the Los Angeles Lakers, and I sure hope it's true. But uh, yeah, so we all know that Andre Iguodala was traded to the uh, Memphis Grizzlies uh, in the off uh, season, and uh, he definitely made sure that everyone knew that he he didn't want to stick around for a, a rebuilding team. So. Iguodala is looking for another chance at winning a uh, NBA championship before he retires at the very moment. So Iguodala was allowed to skip a training camp uh, with his team with the uh, idea that the team would send him away. Well, he still is a Grizzly at the very moment and he's still actually waiting to be traded or bought out of his contract, which would give him a chance to sign with a different team. Now, uh, Adrian Janowski uh, from ESPN is reporting that if Iguodala were to be bought out of his contract with the Grizzlies, he would decide between the Clippers and the Lakers. All right. So it looks like the former MVP has made a decision upon his next destination, and it's the two LA teams. It's the Lakers and it's the Clippers. Uh, what Janowski said, if there is a buyout at some point, at some point, if Memphis can't trade him, uh, that's where that will come down to uh, those two teams. So Iguodala is okay with uh, sitting right now, and uh, Andre is fine with seeing what whatever the landscape uh, looks like, and then jumping in on um, on the season uh, a little later. So uh, you're signing Andre Iguodala or trading for him for the postseason. In a recent episode of the Brian Winters and uh, Hope uh, Collective podcast, ESPN's. Jackie McMullen talked about the possibility to have Iguodala playing with LeBron James and AD. Uh, we know that uh, where he's going, he's going to the Lakers, McMillan said. Uh, he's had four different players tell him that every player they've talked to tells him that he's going to the Lakers. So the Lakers lost the season opener, unfortunately, to the Clippers, and uh, LeBron James did not look too good uh, guarding uh, um, Kawhi Leonard and uh, I don't think LeBron James should be playing the point guard because he looks like he's a little winded you know he should go back to his old position and, and we need to uh, have Rondo do his job uh, real well and Quinn Cook Quinn Cook needs definitely a whole lot more uh, playing time KCP oh my gosh one point I mean, it was horrible. Anyways, we'll get to that. Anyway, check this out. The Lakers lost the season opener to the Clippers. In other words, uh, they could really use somebody like Iguodala's skills, in my opinion. Uh, the Laker needs depth in order to win a title, okay? And adding uh, Andre Iguodala or someone like him would improve their chances most definitely uh, by doing so. So we, as we speak, we don't really have any information about Iguodala's next step. So the Lakers are definitely considering a favorite destination for Andre. So uh, things will get a little tricky uh, is another team offers the Lakers a good trade for Iguodala that, and they won't reject it. Let's see what happens next, all right? So Los Angeles Lakers, hang in there. Looks like it's looking pretty good. I'm saying it's about maybe 85% probability that we should be able to grab Iguodala and add him on our current roster because definitely after the first game with the Clippers mm, we need some major help we did well on the on the second um, game against the Jazz uh, I'm not gonna lie everybody put in you know what they're supposed to do but man LeBron James had to put down what 32 points I mean 30 points gosh that's a whole lot of stress on his body he shouldn't be putting all that extra points just to make sure that we win that ball game I mean everybody has to contribute I mean KCP only contributed one point. Uh, the rest had, what, maybe under 10 points? Dwight Howard needs to come through. So there's still a lot of adjustment that needed to be made. To be made. Uh, so I think there's a whole lot of work for uh, Mr. Vogel. Uh, Coach Vogel, you better get on with it because uh, we don't want to see the Luke Walton part two. All right, you just got here. You don't want Jason Kidd taking over your job. All right, so yours truly, Eddie Jeezy. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we'll be back with more update with my man Andre Iguodala. And uh, hopefully the Lakers win tonight. Oh, yeah. Peace. We out.